uh, low swear back and this time we have to fix a mini pc mini pcs are exactly like the like laptops and this one is quite a good one i think it's expensive uh, ryzen 9 probably around uh, 700 pounds a uh, mini computer like this this job come from um, a local repair shop so i'm curious what can be the problem mm -hmm. i mean they are exactly like the laptops huh? and that's the computer so what do you think we can fix something like that mm -hmm. let's see so we need a charger i need an adapter for my power supply all good so we have the the power supply on screen 19 volts this is shorted so check that check on the power supply so the voltage is going down to 1.2 and the current is going up because that's the limit probably around 1.3 amps this one is completely shorted let's open and have a look what is there it's a mosfet it's a capacitor let's see and that's the computer inside i mean it's quite nice just because it's silent you see no fans inside so what can be gone on this one well we have a short we've seen the short but the short is not very short i mean we still have one point something volts there so i suppose the short is on the main power rail after the first two MOSFETs so uh, I will take the board out looks like no one uh, tried to fix this you can see on the screws are like new so let me take the board out and have a look at the board okay so to take this out it's a little bit of pain but anyway this has a fan so check here you have a fan with two outputs we have a BIOS battery And we have like metal thermal paste. You can see it's metal. Lol. Okay, so what we are checking, we are checking the from the charging port. We are following the main power. Let's go under the microscope. So we have this is the charging port, right? Yeah, this is the plus. So we have to follow the plus. Uh, let's go on the other side. So the plus is coming, check here. The plus is coming, you can see the charging port, you have the track here, you have those uh, inductors, it's coming to the first MOSFET, then you have the second MOSFET, then after the second MOSFET, the track is going on the other side of the board. So basically the track is going here. So this is the main power rail. So let's grab the multimeter and check. Okay, so checking with ground. Here is not short. And here is short, lol. And here is short. 1.4 ohms, 1.3 ohms, and this MOSFET is gone, right? Yeah, one ohm. So we have to remove this. I believe this is, you know what? This is a second fault. Okay, so that MOSFET is actually a second fault. The, the main power rail is still shorter to ground. Let me check here, compare with the ground, we have one ohm. Hey, just to be sure, let's check with the thermal camera. So I'm gonna lower the voltage, just to be safe, yeah. So plug in the charger and in short 1.3 amps. And what is getting hot? So check there, check there, check there. So which MOSFET is getting hot? Huh? The first one. And the first one is good. You understand? So you 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 can see it like, oh, that's hot. It's hot because it's good. The other one which is short, it will not get hot. Okay, so with this, uh, with the power supply, with this uh, 
this is not helpful. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna comb with the uh, with the power supply on the main power rail. Remember the main power rail is here. Here. Okay, good. Uh, and obviously short, it is taking 1.3 amps. Let me raise the current because the voltage is low. Yeah, four amps. Four amps it's about right, yeah? So let's see what is taking four amps. Huh? Something there. But what is there? Here? Here is basically nothing. Hmm. Only something there is getting hot. I mean, it's making no sense. I mean, here is nothing. Maybe on the other side of the board. Oh yeah. That, that is making sense. So let's come with the current on this side of the board on the output of this MOSFET, which I said is shorted, right? Yeah, that's good. Four amps. And indeed, check there, yeah? Indeed, the short is on this side of the board. Uh, but what it is? Oh, lol, is this capacitor? Huh? Let's check under the microscope. So what appeared to get hot is this capacitor. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come with some uh, alcohol. I mean, it can be that simple. So some alcohol here on the capacitor and I'm coming with the current right now. So the cap just, uh, you know, the alcohol just got evaporated on the cap. Let's remove the capacitor. So the capacitor is removed. Now, we are not replacing the capacitors on this video, sorry. Not on this one, yeah? Maybe on a different video. Okay, so let's check. If we are coming with the current on the same spot, it's not short anymore. You can see it's not short. Now the second MOSFET is still shorted. Yeah, the second MOSFET is still shorted. Okay, so what do we have here? We have a classic input circuit like on any other uh, uh, laptop, okay? So plug in the charger. Now let's check the voltage and let's try to figure it out where is the problem. So on the first MOSFET we have 19.5. At the second one we have 18.9. Quite of a big difference, you don't think? You have dropped like nearly one volt. And on the gate, and that's very important, what do we have on the gate? We have 18.9. So usually on the gate, we should have 25 volts, right? Yeah. Just a little bit of flux. Yeah, good. This is a channel N MOSFET. Okay, so we remove the MOSFET. Let me grab another MOSFET. Ta-da! And we have picture. You can see the BIOS menu, yeah. So everything is working fine and great. I mean, a shorted MOSFET and a shorted uh, capacitor is not a big deal. So what is to learn from this video? 
the first MOSFETs, and I got it wrong at the beginning, but you, you don't know, that's the thing, you don't know if the input, uh, the, the power input circuit is made with channel pin MOSFET or channel N. Now, as we had the second MOSFET was shorted and the gate was 19, I assume, okay, that 19 volts gate should be 25, yeah? But after I removed the MOSFET, I realized, wait, wait, my gate actually is like 4 volts. Yeah, so let's check together. So you have the gate from the first MOSFET. Check on the screen. 4.7 volts. And that's normal for a channel P MOSFETs. And the other gate from the second MOSFET, we have 4.7 volts. So on the channel P input circuit, having uh, 4 volts, actually you don't have 4 volts on the gate. So what voltage do you have on the gate? You have the input voltage, yeah, minus 4. And that's the voltage what uh, you have actually uh, on the gate, yeah? Good. Okay, so uh, don't try and avoid those, you know, mini PCs, which are, are quite nice. So check this one. I mean, 6 amp charger, that mean it has some, uh, you know, computing power. Um uh, liquid metal li liquid metal uh, thermal paste i mean it's not like you know like any rubbish proper nice you know if you if you are not doing like uh, gaming then uh, those are quite good okay so i'll stop now i'll say uh, thank you for watching like and subscribe if you like the video and see you on the next one bye